Out of the box, we've already got a phenomenal amount of tools. But then what happens when you want to then do even more? Maybe you can talk a little bit about what are the connections that we have? How can I use it as maybe a small vlogger, YouTuber, Twitch gamer? And you know, what are the options on the actual Atom Mini? Let's start with the connections. We have the four HDMI inputs. Now, if we're looking at, say, specifically the gaming world, what would generally happen is that a guy or a girl who's producing that gaming program would want to have a picture in picture. So we realize that's an important part of that process. So what we've done is we've designated certain inputs on the switcher to do certain things. So as an example, with the input one, what we can actually do is we can route the input one to the HDMI output as a direct clean feed with minimal latency, which means that if I'm putting a gaming console into input one, I can come out HDMI back into my TV, and then when I'm gaming, I'm not then interfering my visual representation of that game with a picture-in-picture, -picture, which would then mean that I would put the camera on myself in input two or input three. Also, what we've put on there as well is a chroma key, and that would come in on input four. So let's say, for instance, we want to put an overlay of some sort. You know, maybe it's, you know, in this case, we've got floating stars. It could be Instagram thumbs up. It could be anything that we like. But as long as it's against the green background, you could place that through on input four. You could do a chroma key, and then effectively, you've now got an overlay on top of that image. In terms of the inputs, that's how we've designated those. Each of those inputs can be hard cut between each of the inputs, or you can actually choose to do a dissolve or a wipe. We have preset wipes on there with the ability to change the transition time. And that transition time goes everything from half a second up to two seconds. Regular times, actually, is something that we would use anyways, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that you know having that flexibility with a single button push means it makes it, again, the process much more straightforward and much simpler. We've also got the ability to have audio following video, which anybody who's in a professional working environment would always look at audio follows video. Yeah, for using playouts, EVS, all these types of things. So we're now bringing this again to this small compact switcher. We also have independent mic inputs with audio control again. So now you can actually put a live mic in, so a headset. So let's say that we're talking over multiple video while switching. We can use that mic input directly into the switcher without using another external device. So out of the box, we've already got a phenomenal amount of tools. But then what happens when you want to then do even more? So this is where the ATEM software control comes in. Like all of our professional broadcast switches, we have a software controller that can also be controlling the ATEM Mini, which now means that if you want to change the size of picture in pictures, if you want to load media stills, you know, if you want to pan and scan, all of that functionality is available within the software. So as you start to progress through the control elements of the hardware unit, and you start to realize there are some limitations that maybe exist in the panel that's in front of you, you've now got all of these software tools that allow you to open up more functionality. And I can even connect it via Ethernet connection or USB. Yes, that's correct. So with Ethernet connection, what you now have is you also have the ability to put this switcher onto a live network. So let's say we're now integrating with other Blackmagic products like Hyperdex. I can even go into that software control device and I can even actually create macros. So if I wanted to, I could actually program macros for, say, multiple Hyperdex to trigger into my small live ATEM switcher. So really we're adding a huge amount of professional features, but the aim is to ensure that we do this in a way that doesn't overcomplicate things from the start and allows you as a user to grow and develop. All in all, this is a way for everyone to enter the market of live mixing, right? Yeah, we feel so. We feel that this is the ideal stepping stone. This is the ideal solution if you are wanting to familiarize yourself with live production and you want to do it in a way that isn't hugely cost prohibitive. And I think that, you know, what we hope is that we address a lot of that market that is developing into that space. But already this week, what we've noticed that there is a huge number of professional users out there that see this as being the sort of device that can actually fit their needs as well. Thank you very much for introducing us to the Atom Mini and all of its capabilities. I'm pretty sure this will hit the mass market and thank you very much for watching. <laughs>